aperitif. I shot Mr. Lone twice, serving jaguar, jag, jugglers and cartoons with near surgical precision. He would die watching me take that what is he, what is his away from him. This is my design. I shoot Mrs. Marlowe expertly through the neck. This is not a fatal wound. A bullet misses at every artery. She is paralyzed before it leaves her body, which doesn't mean she can't feel pain. Just means she can't do anything about it. This is my design. This is D D X security. Who am I speaking with? I need the incident report for the home security company. This was called a false alarm. There was a false alarm last week. You trapped you tapped their phone, yeah. It being tapped. He recorded Mrs. Marlowe's conversation. Security company. This is DDX Security. Who am I speaking with? Theresa Malone. Can you please confirm your password for security purposes? Tea kettle. Thank you, Miss Per Malone. We detected a front door alarm. Well, yeah, sorry about that. Is there anyone in the house with you at this time, Miss Malone? I'm just here with my husband. Do you require any further assistance? No. Thank you for much for calling. This is when it gets truly horrifying for Mrs. Malone. Everyone has thought about killing someone one way or another. Be it it's your own hand or the hand of God. Now think about killing Miss Malone. Why did she deserve this? Tell, tell me your design. Tell me who you are, Graham. Special Agent Jack Crawford. I had the Behavioral Science Unit. We met, yes, we all have a disagreement. We opened up the museum. I disagreed what you named it. The uh, Evil Minds Research Museum. So it's all hand me, Jack. I see you hitched your horse to a teaching post. I understand it's difficult for you to be social. Well, I'm just not talking at them. Talking at them. I'm not listening to them. I'm not. It's not social, I see. May I? There, where are we? Feeling on the foot. Where do you fall on the spectrum? My horse is hitched to the post. They're closer to Asperger's and as autistics than neuro neurosis and sociopaths. You can emphasize the neurosis and sociopaths. I can emphasize for anybody. It has to do with a personality disorder than an active imagination. Oh, I can borrow your imagination. Eight girls abducted from eight different Minnesota campuses all last night. Only in the last eight months. I thought there were seven. There were. When did you take the eighth? About three minutes before I walked to a lecture hall. You're calling them inductions because they don't have any bodies. No bodies and parts of bodies. Nothing that comes out of bodies. Nothing. Then these girls weren't taken from where you think they were taken. They... Then where were they taken from? I don't know. Some place else. They all, all of them are ducked on Friday, so you won't be reported missing until Monday. Now, whoever is trying to really tracks, even needs the weekend to do it. 98 N Nelson Nichols Street, Cloud Street on the Mississippi, disappeared on Friday, was supposed to be to house sit for her parents of the weekend, fed the cat, feed the cat. You never made it home. Yeah, one through seven. One through seven are dead, don't you think? He's not keeping them around. He's got himself a new one. Here you go. So we focus on Elsie Nichols. They're very, they're all very, um, male of America. A lot of white wind chafed skin. Same hair color, same eye color. Roughly the same age, same height, same weight. So what is it about these, about these girls? It's not about all these girls. It's just the one of them. You like Willy Wonka. Every girl takes, he takes is a candy bar. Hidden amongst all these candy bars is the one true intended victim, which we follow through on metaphor is our golden ticket. So he's warning, warning about the golden ticket of just reliving whatever it is he did to her. A golden ticket wouldn't be this first, his first taken. She wouldn't be the last. He would uh, hide how special she was. I mean, I would. Wouldn't you? I want you to get closer to this one at this. No. You have, you have Heimlich at Harvard and Bloom at Goodaltrown. They do exactly the same thing I do. That's not exactly true, is it? You have a very specific way of thinking about things. 
There have been a lot of discussion about the, the specific way, I think. You take jumps. You make jumps. You cannot explain. Will you, will, no, no, there's evidence that explains, explains, then help me find some evidence. They may require me to be sociable. She couldn't have gone off the, by herself. She was a very inferior young woman. She didn't like living in a dorm. I can see how the pressure of school might have got onto her. She likes trains. Maybe she got on a train. She looks like any, all the other girls. Yes, she fits her profile. Could Elsie still be alive? We certainly had to no, no, no way of knowing. How's a cat? What? How about your cat? Elsie was supposed to feed it. Was the cat weird when you came home? Must have been hungry. It didn't eat all day. Weekend. I didn't notice. Could you give us a moment, please? He took her from here. He got on, she got on the train, she came home, she fed the cat, he took her. In Nicholas' house is a crime scene. I will need ART immediately. As Zella, Krauts and Jimmy Pay Price. Yes, and a photographer. Why is it now a crime scene? I can, can I see your daughter's room? I get that, Mr. Nichols. Please, put your hands in your pockets and avoid touching anything. Now, you've been in and out in here all day. You can hold the cat. It's easier. I'll see her. I, say, I need you to look, out, leave the room. When are you ready to talk? You talk. If you don't feel like it, you don't talk. But he then says, you let me know when you're ready to, for us to come in. Your will bring him. You're not supposed to be in there here. You wrote the standard monogram of time and death by insect activity. I found into the velvet and two of the wounds. Huh? Not real, FBI. A so special investigator. Never been to an FBI agent. A strict screening protocols. Standard effects and stability. You're unstable? Now you know you're not supposed to be in here. I found out there a velvet into the wounds. Like she was gorged. I'm looking for a velvet in the other wounds. I was, I was intrigued. Held on. Excuse me. Look, dear and elk pin. They, they pray. Okay. They put all their weight into the, on their antlers. Try and suffocate a victim. That's how, how they could, would kill like a fox. Or coyote. All right. Night. They'll see Nichols. The strangle suffocated, the ribs are bro- broken. The ribs are broken, and the ventilator burned to burn below. In rich nutrients, it actually com- promotes healing. He may not put, put them in a purpose. You think he was trying to heal her? He wanted to, to, to undo as much as he, she could, give, to give him, that he had already killed her. He put her back where she, he put her back where he found her. Uh, maybe, whatever he did, do the other to the others. He couldn't. He couldn't do it to her. Is this a golden ticket? No. This is an apology. Does anyone have an, any aspirin? Hello. Hey. 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 Come on. Come on. Hey. Hey. Come on. Hear me. Hey. Wilson. Is this everybody? Everybody is Wilson. That's right. You are not going. You are, what are you doing in here? I enjoy the smell of unreal cake. Me too. We may need to talk. Use the ladies' room. You respect my judgment, your will? <laughs> yes. Good, because we stand a better chance of catching this guy. Are you in the saddle? Yeah, I'm in the saddle. I just, I'm confused about the direct, which direction I'm point, pointing. I don't know about this kind of psychopath. I never read about him. Never, even, don't even know if he is a psychopath. He's not very, he's not insensitive. He's not shallow. You know something about him. Otherwise, you wouldn't have said. It's an apology. What is it he apologizing for? He should not, he couldn't honor her. He feels bad. Well, feeling bad defeats the purpose of being a psychopath, isn't it? Yes, it does. But well, then what kind of crazy is he? He couldn't show, he, he couldn't show her, he loved her. So he put her corpse back where he found it. Whatever, whatever crazy that is. You think he loves these girls? He loves one of them. And yes, I think by association, he always has, has some form of lo- love for them. There's no, no sermon, no semen, there's no saliva. Elsie Nichols died a virgin. You stay, she stayed that way. That's not, 
but that's not how he's loving them. He doesn't want to disrespect them that way. He doesn't want these girls to suffer. He kills them quietly, and he's, and he's thinking, will mercy, sensitive poker path, risk getting caught as he would, could take Elsie. He couldn't, he wouldn't disrespect them that way. He doesn't want them, these girls suffer. Kills them quickly to his thinking with mercy. So as if I could puff. Reese being getting caught, so he would tuck Elsie Nichols back into bed. He is to take a, he has to take the next girl soon. Cause he knows he's gonna get caught. One way or another, I've got you. Miss Graham likes you. Don't think you've run a, any of my games on him, I don't. I'm honest with him as I, I am, as I would be with a patient. I have been observing him uh, while you've been gestureing here in the company. Yes, I've never been in front of that room alone with, with Will. Why not? Because I want to be his friend. I am. It seems a shame not to take advantage academically speaking. You really asked me to be study on it. To a study on him, Jack. I said no. And anything scholarly on William Graham would ha- have to be published, not possibly. But you should, he, you should never been alone with him, because you, you have a professional courtesy. Normally, you wouldn't let. I wouldn't even bro- broach this. But what do you think? What do you think of? But what do you think one of Will's strongest diva dives is? Fear. Hmm? Well, Graham deals with huge amounts of fear. It comes out of his imagination. It's price of information. Um, Anna, Anna. If I didn't put him back out there, I didn't think I could cover him. All right, I don't think I could, could cover him 80%. I wouldn't put him out there. He's out there. I need him out there. Should he be... Get too close. I need you to make sure he's not out there alone. Promise me some, uh, something, Jack. Don't let him get too close. Or Will Graham deals with a huge amount of fear. Comes with his imagination. Price of imagination. Alma wouldn't put him out there if he didn't think there's cover him. Didn't think I could cover him. All right, I don't think I could co- cover him. A percent. I wouldn't put him out there. He's out there. I need him out there. Should he get too close? I need you to make sure he's not out there and alone. Promise me some everything, Jack. Don't let him get too close. He won't. He won't get too close. Okay. Tied her skin with prints. Of course, nothing. Right. Nothing. He did get her hand spread off her neck. The report say anything about nails? Fingernails are smudged with what we took as scrapings. Scrapings were on their own, her own palms when she scratched them. She never scratched him. Pieces of metal are all we got. We should be looking at plumbers, steam, steam filters, tool workers, other coins, and probably, well, probably, but not conservatively, possibly, Milton is not, it's so no good. She has lots of pieces that look like, that look like she, they were caused by Daniel Antlers. I didn't say that he was responsible for putting them there. She ratted on them. Life hooks. She may have been bled. Her liver was removed. Since, see that? He took her out and then, yep, he put it back, back in. Yep, huh? Why did he cut it out? If he's just going to sew it back in again, there's something wrong about this, about the meat. She has lung, liver cancer. He's cancer. He, uh, he's been eating them. Please, thank you. I hate being no, this narcotic. If it wasn't, if it wasn't narcot- narcotic, frankly, you should, would be something much worse. Our brain is designed to experience anxiety, short bursts, not a prolonged duress of yours. I seem to enjoy our brain is designed to experience. Just said that, mate. Sorry. That's why you feel as though a lion were on the verge of devouring you. Frankly, yes. You have to convince yourself a lion is not in the room. When is it? I assure you. You will know, Dr. Lecter. Lecter. Oh, Special Agent AG. I hate to dis- 
be discourteous. But this is a private exit for my patients. Oh, Dr. Lecter, sorry. Mm, I'm um, Special Agent Jack Crawford, FBI. May I come in? You may wait in the waiting room, Franklin. I'll see you next week, yes. Of course, unless there is some... Of course, this is about him. No, this is all about you. Please come in. So may I ask you how this is about all about me? You can ask... You could ask, but I may have to ask you a few questions first. You expecting another patient? We're alone. Oh, good. No secretary. There's predisposed, predisposed, to romantic drama, full in her heart to the United Kingdom. Sad to see, sad to see her go. Wow. Are these, are these yours, doctor? Among the first. My boarding school in Paris when I was a boy. The amount of details incredible. I learned very early a scalpel cuts better points than a pencil sharpener. Well, how I, now I understand why your drawings earned you a centenarship. A John Hopkins. I begin to suspect you're investigating me, Aunt Agent Crawford. No, no, you are referred to me by Colonel Bloom, the psychological department, Georgetown. Most surgical departments are filled with personal loyalty defection, deficits. Dr. Bloom would be the affection. She would, yes, she would, yes, she would. Well, she told me you were mentioned. Her junior tra- residency at Jock Hopkins, John Hopkins, learned as much from her as he did she did for me. Yes, he did also show me your papers. Evolutionary, uh, evolutionary origins of social exclusion. Yes, very interesting, very interesting. Even for laymen, laymen, yeah. So many learned feathers, feathers going about their halls, behavioral science at the FBI. You consider yourself a laymen. I could do when I'm your, in your company, doctor. I also need you to help me with psychological profile. Tell me then, how many confessions? Twelve dozen. Okay, that's on my checked. But none of them had any details until this morning. And then they all had details. Some genius in Dirraf PD took a photograph of Elsie Bone, Michael's body, with his cell phone, shared it with his friends, and then Freddie Propolonos posted it on t- Triton Crime. Dot com tastes. Do you have any trouble with taste? My thoughts are often not tasty. Not mine. No efficient barriers. I built faults. Association came quick. Associations going quickly. So do faults. Not fond of eye contact, are you? Eyes distracting. You see too much. You don't see enough. And it's hard to focus when you're thinking. Hmm? Oh, those whites are really white. Oh, you must have, have hepatitis. Oh, is that a burst vein? Oh, yeah, I try to avoid eyes whenever possible. Jack, yes, I imagine what you see and lean touches everything else in your mind. Your values and decency are present. I get shot. Your associations are pulled by at your dreams. No thoughts in the bone area of your skull of the... Uh, of things that you love, whose profile you, whose profile are you working on? Whose profile are you usually working on? I say, well, observing is what we do. I don't shut, I can't shut mine off. Any morning you can shut yours off. Please don't psychoanalyze me. You wouldn't like me when I'm psychoanalyzed. Well, now if you excuse me, I have to give a lecture of psychocarousing. Maybe we shouldn't poke him with that, like that, doctor. Perhaps a less, um, direct approach. Was he, what was, what is he, he has is pure empathy. He can assume your point of view of mine and maybe some other points of view that scare him. It's an uncomfortable gift, Jack. Perceptions too, they're pointed out to and point. Pointed on two both both ends. It's Campbell kind of you have been have him getting to know. We have been getting to know. I think I can help. Good. We'll see his face. Stagger being reported stolen last night by a homer from here. Just ahead, Mr. Super's homicide already made a statement. They're calling him the Mr. Super Streak. Like the bird strikes. Streaks. Perching bird, impales mice and lizards on forty branches and barbed wire, ribs their organs right out with their bodies, puts them in his little bird's pantry, and eats them later. I can't tell whether it's sloppy or shrewd. He wanted to have found this way. 
is petulant. I almost feel like he's mocking her. He's mocking us. Where did all his love go? Wherever tucked Elsie Nichols in the bed didn't paint, paint his picture. He took her lungs. I'm pretty sure he was, she was alive when he cut them out. A cannibal loves women. He doesn't want to destroy them. He wants to consume them, to keep some part of them inside. A girl's cut his foot, and she was a, a pig. You think this is a cosmic cat? A cannibal who killed at Elsie Nichols. Had a place to do it, and no interest in the field cabara. No, has it? He has a hose or two, or a cabin, something with an end of the room. She was a, has a daughter, the same age as the other girls, same, same hair color, same eye color, same height, same weight. She's only child. She's leaving home. He can't stand the thought of losing her. She's a golden ticket. How about the co- copycat? You know. Uh, and then the t- intelligent perk above, particularly sadist, is very quick, hard to ha- very hard to catch. There's no traceable motive. There be no patterns. It- you and the man never kill this way again. Hey, hey, hey Doctor Vector, brought out of psychological profile. You seem very impressed with his opinion. Good morning, Bill. Can I may I come in? Where's Crawford? The pose in court. Eventually be yours and mine tomorrow. May I come in? I am very careful about what I do with my body. It means I end up preparing most meals myself. I like your protein, scramble on the salt of the day, some eggs, some sausage. Man, it's delicious. Thank you. Very pleasure. Oh, no, I would apologize for my years of identical ambush. But I know it would soon be apologized again. You're tired of that eventually. So you have to consider using apologies sparingly. You'll just keep it professional. So you would socialize. Could socialize, say, adults. God forbid we become friendly. You don't find that interesting, will you? Agent Crawford tells me that you have a knack for the monsters. I don't think the strike killed the girl in the field, the devil in the details. You don't know you copied that. Do, do, do you, why didn't your copy do, do to the girl that didn't do, didn't do to the copycat? What didn't your copycat do to the girl in the field? Well, I'll give you away everything. Like he had shown me a, a negative, I could see the positive. A crime scene was practically gift wrapped. The mathematics of human behavior. It was all those ugly variables. Some bad math and this right fellow. Huh? Are you reconstructing his fancies? Huh? What happened? To, what kind of problems does he have? Ah, oh, here's a few. He ever have any problems, Will? No, of course you don't. You and I about to be a like problem free. Nothing about it's horrible about. No, 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 nothing about us to feel horrible about. You know, Will, I think when Uncle Jack sees you as a fragile little teacup, they're afraid in this China used and only special guests. How do you see me? A mongoose, I sweat, went under the house with snakes sliver by. Finish your breakfast. What is, what is this morning at? Peeking behind the curtain. I just curious how the FBI goes about their business when it's not kicking in doors. They're lucky we're not be doing house to house interviews. We have found a little piece of metal in Elsie Nichols' clothes, a shred from a pipe threader. There would be, there must be hundreds of construction sites all over, all over at Massachusetts. A certain kind of metal, certain kind of pipe. Some kind of pipe coating. So they're checking all the construction sites. We use this kind of pipe. We are, what are we looking for? What are we looking for at stage? Anything really. But mostly anything peculiar. Two fellows from the FBI. They could go in for a draw now. Mm-hmm. Putting papers in the file boxes. Yes. They're, they're taking things. No. When, well, they, well, they don't say yes, they can. What can you say your, say your names were? Jack Drake of Robes. He's one of your pipe fretters. Those are the regular regulation letters, clamors, union requires and whatever members to finish a job. I'll call you and let you back. Ah, oh, does Mr. Hobbs have a daughter? Right, must have. 18 or 19, wind chafed. Ah, uh, plain but pretty. 
Do you have Elburn here about this talk? Maybe, I don't know. I don't keep company with these people. What is it about Garrett, Jacob Hobbs? You find so peculiar. He left a phone number, no, he left a phone number, no address. Therefore, he's something to hide. The others were all left their addresses. Do you have an address for Mr. Hobbs? I've got it. Call ID? Said he was hello, said it was hello, yeah? You don't know me. I suspect we never met. This is a courtesy call. Listen very carefully. Are you listening? Yes. They know. Ah, uh, Garrett, Jacob Hobbs, FBI, no, no. CC, no, no. Biting in lesser assaults and bar fights, child abuse, emergency room, personnel may be very helpful that way if they have any me- mention. Have, if they have any memorial of memories of bite, bites, no matter who was bitten. Oh, where, Graham? Where's Graham? You said he wouldn't get too, you said he wouldn't get too close.